Howdy everyone, Joe here. So, I've been keeping my eye on these three inmate brews I have going. Um, it's been another 24 hours since I last posted uh, the last inmate brewing update where I, show, I showed you the bubbling action going on. Um, but I still got to wondering about why the cranberry cocktail is creating so much foam. Uh, there was so much foam in it this morning, actually, that I had to take off the old condom and clean it out because it was making the solid sort of sludgy mass right at the top of the opening, so I didn't want that falling back down into it once the foam settled down. I don't know if it would affect the flavor, but it looked really gross, so I didn't want to take any chances with it. So, this morning when I was cleaning that out, I happened to look at the ingredients for all three of these because they're all conveniently right here in the way that I set it up. Um, both the grape juice and the apple cider contain 100% juices. Um, no additives really aside from a little bit of um, vitamin C stuff like that. However, the cranberry cocktail, which was 27% juice, contained high fructose corn syrup. So I hopped online and I googled it to sort of figure out if that would cause any reactions, and it come to find out that home brewers add high fructose corn syrup to their brews for both flavor and head retention. So I'm starting to believe that that is what is happening with all this foam. As you can see, the others, everything's still bubbling away just as much as it was uh, yesterday. However, this one, the foam has just gone crazy. I'm starting to think that that is actually what's causing it, that high fructose corn syrup. So, word to the wise, if you're going to try this at home, I would really recommend 100% juice. Um, it'll be less cleaning, less, uh, uh, really less of a hassle, um, especially because sort of the reason to do this inmate style brewing is for ease of uh, ease of making it. <laughs> so if you're having to go in and clean out uh, hot pink sludge um, every other day or so, then it's uh, not quite worth it, in my opinion. Just keep it easy. Keep it simple. Get 100% juice. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a taste testing on these three, so who knows? These two may actually taste a whole lot better, being that they're actual juice rather than um, pretty much sugar water. So, uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye.